Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Spring Loaded Football. This week we're going to do a little thing different. We're going to talk about the NFL Europe and review some uh, jerseys and stuff from that league. Bringing the guys right now, guys. Uh, are y'all excited as I am? Uh, I'm ready to see some more nostalgia. Football! Yeah. Well, let's look at it. This league from 1991. Uh, I didn't know anything about this league and, you know, Still don't know a lot about it, but we're going to review some jerseys and see which ones we like. You ready to start? Oh, I'm ready to see these. <laughs> All right, starting off, we got the Raleigh Durham Skyhawks. You know, just nothing too fancy. The helmet is pretty neat, I guess. You know, if you look at that uniform, it's pretty decent. Yeah, I mean, it's a traditional uniform. To me, nothing crazy. You know, it's got the logos on the right there around the shoulders and stuff. And, you know, I like it. It's pretty cool. Why do they have to call them Skyhawks? Uh, why couldn't it just been the Raleigh-Durham Hawks? Yeah. That's that would have made sense. Point. Yeah. What is a Skyhawk? I don't know. All I, I'm pretty sure you find them in the sky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're I right. Mean, they really <laughs> want you to look sky and hawks. Well, yeah. this might have been a playoff the Seahawks. Yeah, I guess. It's like a take that and shove it. Here's our Skyhawk. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm looking at the emblem. Like, what is the emblem on this helmet? Like, is it just a triangle with some lines in it? Well, yeah, pretty look, much. If you look at the logo at the bottom, it almost looks like a bird head in the triangle. Yeah. So the logo on the bottom of the card doesn't really match the helmet on the picture. Shh, yeah. shh, that card's worth a lot of money. Shh. Yeah. <laughs> I do um, like the KFC ch- colonel in the background. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I got a feeling. Yeah. Brian picked but, this picture out for, you know. I did. You're right. This, this is automatically going to be the coach's favorite one, just for the KFC <laughs> in the background. Original or extra crispy. <laughs> well, guys, let's go on to the next one, see what we think about this team. Got the San Antonio Riders. Um, Jason Garrett here on this card, you know, former Dallas Cowboys uh, coach, USFL commentator. Uh, but uh, I'm not a big fan of this. Just a, a brown looking, you know, not not my favorite. Was it thought, brown or orange? Well, I thought the jersey. Well, maybe it is orange. I don't know. Either way, can you tell if it's looking? It looks black. <laughs> Is it black jersey with orange and like gold stripes or yellow? Uh, uh, again, we probably couldn't tell because it's faded, but yeah, yeah, I'm not real sure. Just again, not a big favorite of the logo on the helmet's not bad, but that's about it. And at least the team name makes sense with the city, yeah, no, it makes sense for sure. It ain't like the you know, Chicago wins or the. Charlotte yeah. Stars. Right. And oh, for yeah. everybody, everybody, <laughs> <They're a forcer. laughs> everybody, everybody listening at home, you know, this is the NFL Europe, and these two teams are clearly in the United States. But uh, we'll, we'll get there. So. <laughs> Sometime. Yeah. Coming up next, we got the Sacramento Surge. Again, another team based oh. in the U.S. This one's pretty cool. I like this one. I, I love the colors. It's something different. Yeah. I must be taking the Surge drink. Yeah. <laughs> it does. Even the colors. Yeah, the colors, yeah. Surge. <laughs> and that that's giving away our age right there with the Surge. Yep. But, I, I, you know, the, even the, the logo on the helmet, I like it. I think that's pretty cool. And it matches the Sacramento Surge. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense, you know. Unlike <laughs> what we've done in two weeks ago's episode. Yeah. Here we got the Orlando Thunder. Uh, again, another team based on the U.S. Uh, oh not real sure why it's, why it's called NFL Europe. You know, but <laughs> I do like what they're sponsoring in the background. Bud Light. Or yeah. Bud. And oh, they they didn't have light back then. <laughs> it's, this is 1991. They had Bud Light back then. <laughs> Shh. It wasn't famous like it is. Uh, uh, Mr. Bruce with Brian. When was Bud Light originally introduced? 
Oh, had to be the 70s, I imagine. You're saying the 70s? Yeah, probably. Let me do just a little bit of investigation while y'all talk about that. Yeah, I don't talk about crappy beer, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you are now. Yeah, so I am 19, now. 1982, Mr. 70. 82, wow. Yeah. That's People crazy. didn't care about their health, you know, until 82. Yeah, so they... So by by, anyway, so they drink Bud Light now because they do care about their health, you know. So well, I mean it's the same as the sunny. Anyways, yeah. Let's go on to the next one. Or oh, y'all want to talk about this a little bit more? Like the logo, uh, makes makes sense. I being like the, the jersey. Uh, thunder jersey color is pretty cool. That, that is something you could wear when you're jogging at night. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, you would get hit. Yo, deer yeah. hunting, you know. Nobody yeah, ever yeah. see you. Deer's uh, like, oh, is that a thunderbolt? And here it's a little bit hard to tell, but this is the New York, New Jersey Knights. Again, it fits the name, man. Just black, like a Raiders look is what it looks like. I would have liked it better if they didn't use the chest piece. Yeah, that's not a knight, though. Huh? It's a knight in chess. But it's not like what you. I would have done like, like like a knight helmet or something, you know. Yeah. You're like thinking, a medieval midget or something. You're thinking <laughs> of like uh, army black knights. Style. Yeah. Right. That would have made so much more sense. Yeah, that would have fit a little bit better, I think. What is it when 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 they sack the quarterback, they scream out "King me." Yeah. 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 <laughs> I will say this: You gotta love the colors on it. the black. Yeah, color. Thing. Yeah, colors look good, man. I mean, I, I, I like love gold. But yeah. I can't stand how these teams are in New York, New Jersey. Yeah, I, I don't get that. That's what three leagues now that we've reviewed in a row where it's been New York, New Jersey. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. All right, here we got our first international team: the Montreal Machines. Even though uh, they're still not in Europe and Canada. Yes, still not in Europe. Uh, it, I not thought they said Randy Savage, but it was right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is a, this is his good. brother. Yeah. Well, his cousin, you know. From Randy another Savage. mother. <laughs> brother from another mother. I'm going to tell you all why I love these uniforms real quick. This is my favorite. I'm going to go ahead and say it. All right. It reminds me of the young, longest yard, the main machine. Yeah, that makes sense. Had old Bart Reynolds back there, quarterback. Oh, yeah. That that would have been my ultimate team if they'd had old Bart playing for them. I like the logo on the helmet. I think it fits. I think it's a pretty solid jersey. The maroon and silver is pretty good look. Yeah, it is. All right, here we got another. The, the first actual international team, the Frankfurt Galaxy. Pretty cool. I like I, lo I love the helmets. Helmets are my favorite. So. I think that team's still around. Not that incarnation, but another. Yeah. The purple and orange is pretty good on that. Yeah, man, it stands out. I think it makes them made them different for sure. Hey, everybody, just want to take a short little break from your show to tell you about Brews with Brian, the weekly craft beer review podcast where each and every Monday, myself, the Colonel, Brian Sutton, and our good buddy here at the Lotus Sports Network, Bill, reviews a craft beer from around the world. Now, craft beer is different from your big box corporate beer. It's made with patience and time, and the people that brew this stuff actually care about the product they're delivering to us which makes it different from the big box beer that just makes the same thing just to get it out there. And we all drank it. We have to. Ain't no big deal. But guys, stick around with us here on Brews with Brian and play a little Brews with Brian bar trivia. You never know what kind of fun we're going to have. So check us out on Mondays, guys. Back to your show. I don't know what to think about it. <laughs> like I like the white jersey. Yeah, the yeah. purple's just too much purple. It is. I, it looks like he's taking a knee. Uh, he's like, should I get in stance or just stand here or just you know, <laughs> take a knee? That is, this is when Tim, Te uh, Tim Tebow. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, this that was kind of a rip off of the Southern California Suns almost. Almost. Yeah. Uh, only they're a galaxy, so they have a bunch of Suns, you know. So <laughs> They're better than the Southern California Suns. That's right. Sun. That's it. Here we got the uh, 
London Monarchs. Again, you know, nothing. Is that a mustache. That is. That yeah. is that is one sweet mustache right there. Yeah. He a went. mustache. A mustache. He, this like, is it. This takes it. Yeah, I, I like the helmets. The jersey's okay. You know, nothing special. But uh, the helmets are pretty cool. No, that mustache is what makes this. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, that goes without saying. You know, he puts Jeff Fisher to shame. It does yeah. make Jeff Fisher go. I mean, look at the eyebrows just go with that stash. Can we get yeah. him hired for the coach at the uh, Michigan Panthers? Well, see if we can find Stan Galeball. <laughs> see if we can bring him in. You know, Stan Galeball, if you are listening to the show, please <laughs> yeah. send us an email. How awesome we will try our hardest to meet you. Today. That would be awesome. If you happen to be watching this show, springloadedfootball at gmail.com, send us the resume. We'll put it into the USFL. <laughs> you know? Or just call or us. Y'all know Stan. Stan. Not big Stan, but Stan Gable. Gable. <laughs> Gable. Gable. Whatever. But That's right. He was I a wonder if he still got that sweet stash. I hope so. And here's the uh, Birmingham Fire. Again, NFL Europe didn't have a lot of European teams, it seems like. But, no. but you know, I, love this, this one. This is another one of our hometown teams. Cause yeah. I don't know if people's been watching the past few weeks, but we got a trend in Birmingham. Yeah, there is a trend. Uh, the helmets are, are the best in the league, I think. Oh, yeah. And they, I believe, ended up becoming the rain fire from Germany. Okay. Well, that makes sense. So the team didn't really go to waste. It went on somewhere else. Yeah. But the well, color scheme's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, everything looks good. Like I said, the helmets are probably, they are my favorite, I think, so. It's like a Bam Bam Bigelow without a helmet playing football. Yeah, for sure. Messed up. Here we got the uh, Barcelona Dragons. Uh, hard to tell. Looks like it might be a green jersey. Is that his chin strap beside his helmet? They didn't give two Fs back in, buddy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he's a dragon. He didn't need a chin strap. <laughs> he's like, watch me right here. I'm going to throw this ball without a helmet. That's Not right. from Barcelona. Looks Unfor- like. Uh, Unfortunately, Scott Ernie's career was cut short due to a head injury. Yeah. <laughs> he got that chin knocked. Yeah. Decapitation will get you every time. <laughs> you know, but, you know, <laughs> but I love the logo on the helmet that, that you can see in the bottom corner. I think it looked pretty cool. Can't see it on the top of them, but. Yeah, you can't see it on the top, but. But, you know, that's pretty good color scheme the red, green, yeah. and yellow. Yeah. I want to know. You say the you say the patch on the pants. I wonder if that says Wrangler. <laughs> he, he was the first booty cut Wrangler, Wrangler jeans here. <laughs> well, guys, uh, what's y'all's favorite? I'm gonna have to go Mean Machine, just because there. it reminds me of the longest yard. All right, so you're going Montreal. Looking pretty good, I think. I, I'm going with Birmingham. Uh, I thought that it looked the best. So who's taking the Homer team now? Yeah, me. I am. <laughs> Helmet, on, that, the helmet got me, man. I love it. I'm going overseas for this one. Oh. I'm right. going with the stash. You're going international. I'm going international. <laughs> I'm mean, going London Monarchs. Yeah. I, I, has, I get it. That's fine, man. I, has I agree. Has Stan Gelball become our favorite football player of all time? I think so, man. We got to look him up. He is like, uh, what is his name? The kid carried right around the world. Ray Finkel. He's like a Ray Finkel. <laughs> Let's see. In my can. career right now, uh, I, uh, I wish I could find this guy and meet him and get his autograph. Let's see here. Stan Gilball. He is 59 years old. Currently. Good. He is. Uh, from Carlisle, Pennsylvania. They play for the Dallas Cowboys, the Saskatchewan Rough Riders, Buffalo Bills, Cincinnati Bengals, London Monarchs, Hamilton Tiger Cats, Kansas City Chiefs, Phoenix Cardinals, London Monarchs, and the Seattle Seahawks from 92 to 96. Wow. He's a badass. But <laughs> here's the key, boys. That's a champion right there. 
World Bowl champion, 1991. That year, that stash Who picks the champion. Who picks it? It's the stash. It, it just says it's champion. Him. Yeah, if you're you, right. If you want to be a winner, get a stash. Unless you're Jeff Fisher. And then shave that. Oh, hey. yeah. <laughs> the, the denim blue jeans with the holes in them didn't help him out on that no, one. No, no. Oh, uh, and also right here, let's just go. Rolled hard, put up wet, if you know what I mean. He was the WLAF offensive MVP that year. Damn oh, straight. Wow. So he's putting up numbers. Oh, yeah. His nickname well, was the blueprint for knowing many different offenses. I guess well, that he is played a- for 42 teams. Right, I mean, <laughs> when you play for every team, you know, you're going to learn something. So It's like, I know you, I know you. <laughs> but, guys, let's wrap it up. I think we had a pretty good episode there talking a little bit NFL Europe, and we'll revisit this league and maybe talk about some of the games and players from it. But we want to thank everybody for listening. You can find the show anywhere you find your favorite podcast. Check out YouTube and Spotify for the video show. Tell your buddies, help the show grow. And guys, we'll see you next time.